I have been so looking forward to making meatloaf in the Instant Pot. So I have my ground beef, whoever thought you'd pay $5.50 a pound for this, some breadcrumbs, some garlic. I use these meatloaf seasoning packets because they're kind of good and they're easy. This is chopped onion in there, some Worcestershire sauce, and an egg that I've stirred up a bit. I'm going to mix this stuff all together and I will put quantities on the video later. Everything's in the bowl. I've, I'm kneading it kind of like I would bread dough. I kind of find having my hands in all this red meat a bit disturbing. <laughs> but I'm going to shape it into a loaf now. I'm going to put it in the bottom of the pot where I placed a cup of water just in the bottom of the pot. I'm just going to set the meatloaf in there and then I'm going to set it on high for 15 minutes, do a natural release, and see if I get meatloaf. This is how it looks in the pot. It's uh, 2.25 pounds of ground beef and all the stuff put in there. And I'm just going to place it in the instant pot now. I honestly don't believe that a meatloaf will cook in 15 minutes but Lily does. But we're going to see because this is my meatloaf experiment. You can kind of hear this or maybe see it. It's what the pot does when it's getting ready and it's building its pressure. You do get steam and you get the sound. It's perfectly normal in case you're kind of new to pressure cooking. I think mean, the water's <coughs> boiling, it's creating steam and Pretty soon the valve will pop up and it will stop steaming and start cooking. And here it is, my meatloaf. It smells great. It looks great. I'm going to try and wrestle it out of there and see if it falls apart or see if it's cooked inside. I set it for 15 minutes and then I've let it naturally release. So I, I've come back and it's been warming and releasing for 24 minutes. So it was definitely ready to come out. The lid opened easily. I'll get back to you in a second. So this is interesting. I don't know if you can see this too well, but it's not really done in the middle. That's not a good thing for ground beef, although I, I do mostly use this to recook in other things. I'm going to slice another third off and open it up like that, stick it back in there, and maybe just do another short cycle. It's steaming on my camera. I hope you can see that this meatloaf has been entirely worth waiting for. My dogs think so too. Hi, Brinky. That's Brinkley. He's almost nine. And there's Lily. She's always there. So it's, it's completely done. I don't think you can really overcook a meatloaf in the Instant Pot because of all that water and steam. It's very, very moist. It's very, very delicious. And because I use meatloaf in hunks to recook in other things mostly, I don't really care that it's kind of a big <laughs> lump more than a loaf. Although I think I can slice off some sandwiches if I want to once it gets cool. So have fun experimenting with your Instant Pot. I think this meatloaf was a resounding success.